Here's your daily sports rush from Sports Not for September 11, 2024. It's time for your daily sports rush from Sports Not. I'm Scott Cobranson, and today's rush is chock full of pigskin and the long ball. Let's go. All right, football fanatics, buckle up because the NFL is back and America is glued to their screens. Record breaking 21 million viewers per game for opening week. Yeah, you heard that right, people. They can't get enough. NBC had the biggest one with 29.2 million people watching the Chiefs handle the Ravens. Tom Brady in the booth for Fox. Nearly 24 million tuned in to Tommy Terrific. We're all here for the chaos. Just don't ask direct TV customers in New York or San Francisco how they feel about it because, spoiler alert, they missed Monday Night Football. Oof. But wait, if you thought week one was going to be an air show, well, think again. Passing numbers were lower than a high school homecoming game. The worst since 2007. Over half the QBs couldn't even crack 200 yards. Deshaun Watson, 0 for 10 on deep throws. Yikes. Meanwhile, we had a run game revival like it was 2008. Teams pounding the rock for over 120 yards a game. What is this? The early 2000s? Nah, just week one in the NFL. And speaking of throwbacks, Pittsburgh is rolling with Justin Fields at QB again in week two. Mike Tomlin's playing it safe, sticking with the kid after he led them to an 18-10 win over the Falcons. No touchdowns, but hey, six field goals? That's practically a party in Pittsburgh. Russell Wilson, meanwhile, still nursing that calf injury, sitting this one out while the Steelers are set to run all over that soft Broncos defense. Feels like a Fields to Pickens field goal fest is incoming, doesn't it? And baseball, let's not forget Kyle Schwarber is out here just breaking records. 14 leadoff homers in 2024. Yeah, that's an MLB record, kids. Dudes practically turning every first pitch into fireworks. Oh, and just to spice things up, he left the game early with an elbow injury. Classic Philly luck, am I right? But don't worry, they still slap the Rays around because when the Phillies are hot, they're smoking. All right, that's your Sports Rush from Sports Not Today. We just can't get enough of NFL. We are addicted, folks. Just face it and watch more football this coming weekend. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Take care, everybody.